Okay guys, so this is pretty much uh, built on my previous experiment that I already have on YouTube and uh, this is a free hot water uh, and because it's on the outside okay, it's under the roof of course but that's how it looks the whole thing it's on the outside so I don't have to worry about any smoke inside the house here is the container with oil and right now I'm burning uh, vegetable oil but it's gonna run on vegetable oil or any oil pretty much and this is uh, gutted uh, gas water heater pretty much I just took out the guts and uh, I'm gonna insert this this device here inside which uh, which uh, this is just a pipe for I'll show you when I put it together it's a pipe for uh, for the air <coughs> the uh, oil is getting fed through pretty much the this tube here is just sitting in this groove and it goes roughly to the middle of the pan and uh, and uh, this is an overflow just in case uh, that's you know, just in case, uh, just in case, and uh, this is the hairdryer that is running uh, that uh, that device, and it uh, will take me since I just got here and the water is completely cold. Nobody was here for about a month, uh, so it's going to take me about 45 minutes to heat it up to the uh, really really hot water. Uh, under normal reheating is about 20 minutes, 25 minutes roughly. So I'm gonna put it together and uh, I'll show you how it works. I know this is against the sun and it's gonna be hard to see but uh, this is the best I can do. Okay. This goes inside here. And I have to make sure that the tube is engaged into the groove, which is not. And it's kind of difficult to do it by myself, but. Okay, now it's in, so that's good. And of course, I forgot my overflow dish, so that's pretty important. just the legs I guess okay now it's good I better check again yeah that seems to be fine and this overflow device uh, the tubes gotta be submerged in oil because Otherwise, smoke will come out of it. That's why it's sitting in oil. Now, uh, 
this have to be done kind of quick because this is a mix uh, gasoline and kerosene right here and that's um, roughly three to one three kerosene one gasoline that works pretty well so I'm gonna pour about a cup in here well first I should attach the head dryer Okay, I made, made sure the hair dryer is working, otherwise it's going to be a lot of smoke. Okay, and it runs on a low speed, uh, so let's put about a cup in here. Maybe not even a cup, about half a cup. smoke coming out yeah right now a little bit because it's starting but I'm gonna have to let it roll it up first before I say something about the smoke but it looks like it's good right now Okay, no smoke coming out now anymore. I guess now it's running on a car, uh, on the oil. Now the problem with this, uh, let me step, step back a bit. The problem with uh, this oil is that uh, that oil is very temperature. Uh, moody because when it gets uh, kind of 90 degrees outside then the oil floats like uh, water when it gets down to 40s the oil is pretty much solid so you really have to keep adjusting this well here to get it to the, to the perfect flow it really depends on the temperature. If I use uh, used car oil, then there is no problem. But right now it's running on, uh, 
and the oil already with kerosene burned out. And all you can see is just the heat coming out from the chimney. Okay. And it's going to take about 45 minutes to heat up the heat up the. Uh, Maybe I can show you pretty much how it dies when I shut the oil. Okay.
Yeah, there's going to be a little smoke coming out right now. But it will stop in a... I don't know, in a minute. That's kind of the disadvantage. Because... Uh, because when you, when you shut it off, it's the oil will still keep dripping from the pipe and it will burn a little bit under the hot pan but it's not hot enough to pretty much start the flames again so I just run the hair drying hair dryer for a minute and it will cool off and uh, it's gonna be fine Yep, it's cooling down, still smoking a little bit, but... So that's why this is probably only outdoor application. Unless, you know, we can put it somewhere in shed or something like that, I don't know. Yeah, now it's okay. Just take a minute. And it's really cool enough so it doesn't smoke anymore yeah. now I can shut the hair dryer and I'm gonna have a hot water pretty much for the whole day since I am just myself here when my wife and kids come here then uh, usually it takes uh, one warming up in the morning and then one in the afternoon usually two times a day and this container will last me probably this will last me at least for three days because now just to, just to heat it up from uh, warm to hot it's gonna take very short time so you know that's it's probably a three days worth of oil right there Okay, I don't know why am I still making the noise here, but uh, that's, uh, that's what it is, and now when I want to start it up again, all I, all I have to do is just uh, unscrew this top, put about half a cup of the mix in it, and uh, start it up just like before, and just use it as long as I'm here. I do have to clean the pan when I burn <coughs> the vegetable oil, because this used to be oil for, for uh, fries, french fries this is uh, from uh, Five Guys actually so there is a probably a lot of junk from the, from the fries in the oil that's why it leaves a lot of residue uh, residue actually, kind of like ashes so not a lot but I have to clean it like once, once in three or four days maybe so it's not it's not like it's really bad but it's it doesn't burn completely clean when I burn the, the car oil uh, then that one burns completely clean there is nothing there is nothing at the bottom it's just completely clean okay I guess I cover all the details I hope um, later